Hi guys, Cindy out here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? Um, I I feel like it has been months since I've recorded a video. Not quite sure why, but it does. Um, yeah, and I'm freezing. I don't know what the deal is, but I just can't seem to get warm. So, and of course, now that I'm down south, what the deal? Anyways, um, what we're going to talk about today is I want to say first of all, hi and welcome to my creative year. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I did last year. This is my first, I think my first six months of my creative year last year. And um, as you guys know, I was doing it in a uh, three ring binder here. And I just had fun playing most of the year. That was my reviews. Um, I enjoyed it. I really, I really had fun. Uh, let's see. I, we did, what, three videos a week, I think it was, or three videos a month, I mean. Um, and this year it's going to be a little bit different. This year it's going to be more, um, how do I say it, natural, if that makes sense. Because I am not going to do a prompt-based um, page every, 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 you know, video. I just, I, I enjoy it, but to me, this, this last year felt like I was creating for a project and not creating for myself. Um, even though I had fun doing all these and, you know, it was great while I was doing them, I just, I want something a little bit different. I don't think you guys saw this one. This one I did, um, one of the days I think I was on the couch on a pain day, I decided to throw this together. And what I did is I ended up cutting out, um, I just kind of drew and then cut out and then I reused that cut out part to kind of make like this little frame which I thought was kind of cool um, this girl was in black and white and then I just used a little bit of pit pens to color her hair and, and her outfit so there's actually a tag the tag is being held in there by these little clothes pins that I added same thing with this girl um, she was black and white and I just used some color to color her and her dolly but yeah, this last year has been fun. Don't get me wrong. It's been a lot of fun and I've done a lot of work. Um, but this year, my intent is to bring more of me to my creative year. Meaning when, I just noticed I have on two different gloves. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> when I'm creating, I want to be free. I want to be free to create, which I just didn't feel that way when I was doing this kind of stuff. So I am going to be creating for myself this year. That was fun. Um, hopefully not putting pictures of myself in there anymore. And just, I, I'm going to have fun with it. So just to give you guys an idea of what my creative year goal is. Well, that's different. Um, I'm going to show you. So this was, like I said, this was the beginning of last year. Um, I will not be creating again this year in this way. So this is just going to go onto my book, my shelf of completed journals. And eventually I'll look through it. So here's my goal for this year. This journal, first of all, this bookmark um, I received from a beautiful girl on Gina's design team which is Margelle Shelley uh, she is fabulous I just I love her work I love her style and she sent me this beautiful beautiful bookmark so I thought you know what a greater place for it to be than in my creative year for 2019 this journal I did not make this journal uh, this journal was made by Gina Ahrens um, quite a while ago before she moved she was doing a purge and this was one of the journals that she was purging and I just I fell in love with it when I saw it and then as I was looking through my journals today to figure out what to do for 2019 I found this journal this is an envelope journal so all this blue that you see or the purple that is um, tuck spots that you can put stuff in all right these are the envelopes here's another tuck spot here's another tuck spot now when you turn this page over, here's a tuck spot, and here's a tuck spot. So th this journal has got so much potential to it, I just, I fell in love with it. Um, like I said, lots of envelopes, uh, pharmacy bags, 
uh, that kind of stuff. And when I sat down and I counted each signature, if you want to call it that, there are 12. So guess what I'm using for my creative year 19. So I want to get this book uh, ready. Um, not a fan of this color. We're going to get rid of that and this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play for a little bit, get my journal ready, and then we'll come back and chat a little bit more. So I hope you guys enjoy.
Alright guys, so I did a little bit of decorating on the front. I just painted the inside and the back cover um, just because I really didn't like. But I like the fact that the brown comes through on this. So I'll most likely be doing more work to these. But again, this is a journal I'm going to use for 2019 for my creative year. And I just had these words I actually um, cut out of this word find. This is something I got at the dollar store quite a while ago. And I love to go through here and find some words and then just cut them out and use them. Either that or I'll tear pages out and I'll just use them as background collage. Whatever the case may be. But for a dollar, yeah, why not? But anyway, so I, I cut out a few words. This is Simplify, Magic, Enter, Sparkle, and Craft. And imagine, this was actually given to me by a dear friend, uh, Margell Shelley. She's fantastic, so check out her channel. Um, and here we go. This is going to be my creative year. So I have a signature for each month pretty much or a half of a signature for each month. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys join us. Um, definitely check out the My Creative Year uh, Facebook group and join us through there. We have a lot of cool stuff going on in 2019. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And happy creating. I will see you next time. Take care.